Hello everybody, this is the uh, Hobo Cyclist, and uh, this is not a video about uh, bicycles at all, or touring, it's a Hobo Stove. I learned to do this some 45 years ago in the Scouts, and I got to toying with it one day, and decided to do a few changes and modify it my way. I have actually uh, had a time in my life where we went through a large storm and for 15 days had no power and because the trees fell they pulled up the pipes for the natural gas so we had no natural gas either uh, finding charcoal or barbecue grill gas was impossible anything to cook with was hard to find for that 15 days so i literally survived with a hobo stove so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and first thing you notice, I put some expanded metal on it. I got that from Home Depot. Cost a few bucks, but I simply cut a circle with a pair of tin snips. So if you're going to do that, be careful. This stuff does get sharp when you're cutting it. I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to show what each item is about. I got some Nesbitt tablets here. I have a bottle here so that I can carry some alcohol fuel. It's just a air conditioner bottle and it's just for the fuel also if you notice you, you'll find this on YouTube also it's a homemade uh, can coke can stove alcohol stove that goes with the alcohol <coughs> I also added a few other things this is a can of sterno I figured if I had to uh, feed multi people in a situation this would be handy to have it slow but I took a, a regular uh, food can and I cut it so that I could put a pot on top of that directly and let me put that right there as you notice a cook pot will fit right on top of it no problem so that's one cooking stove system right there and this can here you know it's just a regular can with some holes drilled in it and I can use that with the Nesbitt tablets that now becomes a Nesbitt stove as you can see there we'll put that away also I have these rods here and I'll explain those in a second I took some metal flashing, it's aluminum, and I put a notch in it so that one will fit into the other. I've got two of them actually here, but this is the fit just like that, so it's freestanding. That can go around the sterno stove to help as a windshield, uh, or around the Nesbitt stove that I made and put a pot in there. Also, if you'll notice, there's a second shield down in here so that both of them can be going at the same time. So if I have to feed a group of three, meal, we'll have three meals going. Also, this thing's a pain in the butt here. Uh, it was a scrap left over. As you see, down in the bottom here, I've got another grade made up so that the wood can sit on that and the ash can fall right on through. Let's see if I can get this piece to come out. It's, it's a little tight. But down in the bottom I keep a few things in there. Let's see if I can get this to roll up out of here. It's, it likes to be a pain. So there, we got that out. And if you look, I've got coat hangers all the way down in the bottom here and that holds the grate up I also was at Army Surplus and found a few fuel these are the gel packs here if you can see them they don't take up a lot of room and it does say using a well ventilated area so I added a few of those in there also if you'll notice I've got a Ziploc bag in here that's for picking up uh, any any kindling I happen to come along. Anything good for starting a fire. 
and you can see it has more Nesbitt ta tablets down in the bottom and this is my hobo stove I also if you can see them three little holes I'm gonna go ahead and search the rod oh I hate that squeak sound by putting the three little rods in I can actually go ahead and use this stove right here I can take the container that I made for the Nesbitt stove I can actually flip it over and turn this into a big Nesbitt stove as you can see I'll bring it down here in the camera oops that slid and now I've got a Nesbitt stove on the larger side so that I can use it in case I don't want to use it as a wood stove so that's the multi-purpose of this thing and then we'll get to the grate here uh, you can actually throw a hamburger right on top of this if you oiled it. And some people say, well, how are you going to grab hold to the uh, grade and put more fuel in it? So I took a simple co hanger and I can pick it up and I can add more fuel to it as I need to. So this is my version of the Hobo stove. Hope it gives you guys something to think about. Uh, this, each one of these items, the Nesbitt tablets uh, and the stove and the sterno, you can find them on other videos. But I just want to show you mine so that if I have to leave my home in a hurry, I have the means to cook uh, multiple meals at one time uh, for multiple people. And it, it's just a thought that just hit me one day and I figured I'd go for it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Uh, I would love to have you subscribe to me. And uh, Starving Cyclist, I know you're out there somewhere. Seen you. Haven't seen you in a while, but I hope you're doing well. Have a safe journey, my friend. And give us a call. Uh, give us a shout when you get a chance or an email. So thank you again, everybody. Have a great day.